How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about the black militia that marched in Stone Mountain, Georgia, not Atlanta. We'll get to that in a minute by the name of NFAC. That's the Not Effing Around Coalition. Now, this particular group of about 200 plus black armed people was led by a guy by the name of Grandmaster J, or pardon me, the real Grandmaster J. And what they were able to do from what I'm reading is assemble at least four different black gun clubs to form the militia. Now, before I get into the details of the whole situation, let's roll the clip. This will be from 11 Alive down there in Atlanta local news. You'll see a little bit about them and what's going on. After we get done watching all of that, I'll give you some more context. Then I'll give you my two cents, my deep detail analysis, and then I'll wrap it on up with a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Hundreds of protesters dressed in black armed with assault rifles and a passionate plea at Stone Mountain Park today, demanding the carving of Confederate figures be removed from the mountain. Those figures include Jefferson Davis, Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson. And although some called it an alarming sight, police park police tell us they had no issues with that gathering. Jay Plyburn joins us live from the park with the latest. Jay. Hey, good evening. It's been an interesting Independence Day here at Stone Mountain, an area which usually sees about 4 million visitors each year, partially because of this unique monument behind me, a Confederate monument at that. And take a look at the video from earlier this afternoon. There were not originally many people here today. The park actually just reopened after closing for COVID-19. But this afternoon, more than 100 people showed up right here protesting the monument, which is one of the largest of its type in the country. The protesters were heavily armed, but workers with the park's public safety division said they had no issues with the group coming in to exercise their free speech. It's a public park, state park. Uh, we have these protests uh, on both sides of the issue from time to time. We expect people's First Amendment right to exercise those rights. Uh, we understand the sensitivities of the issue here at the park and the dark path, so we respect that and uh, allow them to come in. And as long as it's peaceful, which it has been, uh, then that's fine. All right, so you saw that, you heard that. Now, I'm not really sure where to begin. I guess first things first would be, why were they there? Like they said in the news clip, they were there partially to get the sculpture, uh, the, the Confederate sculpture on the rock, the big rock known as Stone Mountain removed. Now, I'm not sure how you're going to do that, but you're going to sandblast it. You're going to put TNT up on the rock. You can't move this big, gigantic rock into... A museum so i'm not sure how they're going to do that or what's even the purpose of you know protests on the rock but they were not just there for that particular reason they were also there to demonstrate their second amendment rights and i got no issue with that none whatsoever you follow them in the law you got your permits whatever you need to carry your weapon then go for it that's your right go ahead and do so but they were not only there for uh you know second amendment rights or the carving on the rock. Nah, they were talking to people and telling them what they're all about. They're saying, yeah, we want to set aside in Texas. And what I mean by quote unquote set aside is like a sovereign little place, you know, a kind of a, a sovereign state. Now, what kind of group can say we want to be separate? We want our own sovereign state. We want reparations. We got guns. We're going to do whatever we want to do. No permits or whatever and not get called some kind of hate group. 
Okay, if you're a black group like that, you can do that and that's fine. No problem. Imagine if this group were white. What if the the color was different and they were saying some of the similar things? We want our own white set aside group somewhere in Utah or Washington State or something like that. You want the Pacific, what did, what did it say, the, the Northwest Front? You know, like what if they would say something like that and they were white? They'd be considered a white supremacist group, white nationalist group right away. Matter of fact, the real Grandmaster J allegedly was getting a threat from so-called clan and by the way have you ever met anybody from the clan have you ever seen anybody from the clan like in real life the last time i seen these guys wearing the hoods or whatever was like back in early 90s talk shows like ricky lake sally jesse Raphael, uh phil donahue i mean these guys are not really around anymore but i don't think they were there talking about nfac i don't think they were there for the specific purpose of trying to fight them but if anybody showed up they were going to be ready to rock and that's pretty much what that was the real grandmaster jay was kind of inciting some of that talking about where you guys at we here let's go so like i said if it were a different color then it'd be different but anyway let's talk about where they were you out there not in the perimeter at all and if you know atlanta the perimeter is like you know what's that 285 that's like the core of atlanta once you're out of the perimeter you're far away you're like kind of in the suburbs or way far you could still be inside the perimeter and not in the city of atlanta atlanta is actually kind of small it's like 600,000 population but the metro area is very big it's like 4.5 million something like that that's what makes atlanta kind of a metropolis not necessarily the city limits itself but different story i digress my whole point is that they were not in the perimeter they were not very close to the city of atlanta they're out there in stone mountain a very small city with like 15 cops you are in this little small place with 200 people protesting a rock you know demonstrating right to bear arms but why don't you take that same energy and go down to zone three zone six where the black community is having a lot of problems right now. You got little kids getting killed, eight-year-old little girls. So Koya Turner, may she rest in peace, getting killed. Okay, if you got that same energy about we're going to defend ourselves, we're going to use deadly force to defend ourselves, not just them that were out there. I'm talking about black people in general. If you got that same energy in the city of Atlanta and not way out far past beyond the perimeter, then you can actually get something done. I'll be for that. Okay, community policing, okay, if that's what you want, then these are the guys right here that you need to have on your team, right? I mean, maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. But if, if you don't want the police, if you say F the police, F12, how about these guys? They should be what you want. They're black, they're pro-black, they want the best for you. But instead of being down there, zone three, zone six, Edgewood, whatever, you wouldn't be way outside the perimeter protesting the rock. I'm just trying to figure out how that makes any sense. All right. I'm not against your protest. I'm not saying you can't bear arms. I'm just saying let's channel the energy properly. That's all. Okay. But you know what? Some of these guys don't really need to be out there trying to protest a rock or fight the so-called boogie boogie boys or uh, trying to defend anybody in zone three, six or anywhere else in Atlanta, Georgia, because I was seeing some LARPers out there. All right. Now, some of these guys were legitimate. I can kind of tell by looking at them. They appeared to be legitimate. But you get a lot of guys from different clubs coming together. You don't really know who you're getting at the end of the day. It could be some infiltrating in there. I've seen some of these guys at BLM protests. Okay, there's one guy right here. I've seen them before at a BLM type thing. You know, you have some agitators in there. You have some guys that will just come up to you and start a fight because they want to rumble. Okay, you have some guys that are in there like that. You have some LARPers. One guy had an active jam in his rifle. It's like, sir, your little 22 long rifle drum fit with a jam in it ain't going to do nothing. Okay, you need to go ahead and clear that and, you know, just get stuff together okay get, do a little bit of workout some pilates or something like that because if i run away and you're trying to fire your gun at me it's not gonna do nothing first of all you got a jam second of all you just kind of discombobulated you can't chase me so tighten up all right some of these larpers if you don't know what that means that means live action role player l-a-r-p larp some of these larpers should just go back to the crib they shouldn't be out there trying to defend anybody but some guys are legitimate they're trained military guys like I think the real I think the real Grandmaster Jay might have been a military guy. Some of these guys can go out there and defend the black community rather than protesting the rock. That's just kind of how I see it. Right to bear arms, I'm with it 100. 
No problem with that. I'm just saying direct your energy where it really should be at rather than trying to protest rocks. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think that these NFAC guys are legitimate, illegitimate? Whatever your thoughts on that are, let me know in the comments below. Do you think that what they're doing, you know, protesting the rock makes sense? Does it not make sense? Whatever your thoughts on that are, let me know in the box. You know pretty much where I stand. Protesting the rock, what's the purpose? I mean, you could use that same energy to go towards things that matter. That's my whole issue with any of these so-called protests. You know, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, whatever. Okay, the energy that you're using could be used in a better way to get an actual result that you would like. You would want a safer community, yes? You would want less police interaction with the community, yes? If that's what you want, then take your energy and put it to where it needs to be used rather than trying to say F the police, F12, F this, F that. Support this, support that. Things that actually help. Support the police, okay? Rather than just saying F them, you go out there, do some proactive things yourself to help with the community, okay? Don't engage in crime. You can do things that will prevent you from even dealing with the police. But rather than doing that, you want to bring more police in your direction. I just don't see how these things make any sense. But maybe you're wrong. Maybe they're right. Whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.